Hello everyone, this is Andy with Altered Reality and I'm going to go ahead and take a minute to walk you through how to use Visualizer Studio for Unity. We'll go ahead and start by importing the package. Go ahead and import all of it. And I'll just jump ahead past this part. Now that we have that imported, I'll go ahead and create a empty game object which I'll use as the main audio source to play the song. Go ahead and just select the example song that's included. And to make sure that this always gets heard properly, I'll go ahead and attach it to the main camera. And from there, the next step that we need to do is we need to add the manager, data groups, and controller objects, which are the main classes that drive all of the music visualization. So we'll go ahead here and add one of these prefabs that I included that kind of has a good starting point for everything. So we'll go ahead and drag this into the scene. And from there, it shows all of the different options that you can do with the manager to kind of customize and view the, the debugging information. Uh, to start with, I'll go ahead and just select the game object that I just created that has the audio source. So that way when it plays, the manager will go ahead and be able to pull the audio from that. The next step is to make sure that these data groups that you added all have the Visualizer Manager selected as their target manager. So I'll just go ahead here and select all of those. And these data groups are also set up to be a good starting point for everything. It has a good setup for bass, for mid frequencies and high frequencies. It has all the ranges and everything already allocated and aligned for it. Um, so I'll go ahead and just jump to the next step. If you need more details on any of these objects, you can check the readme.rtf that's included in the package. So the next step is I'll go ahead and add a controller. And this is a prefab that has three sets of controllers, one for bass, medium, and high frequencies. Go ahead and make sure that those also have the correct manager and data groups associated with them. And just as a quick background for what controllers do, is they're basically looking at the data groups and it's taking its data and aggregating it all the way down to a single output value with which you can hook up modifiers and triggers. So now we have our main objects that we need for visualization. So I'll just go ahead and start playing around and add in a sphere that I can make pulse to the music. So go ahead and create a sphere here. And just so it's out of the way, I'll go ahead and move it towards the back here. In order to hook this up to the music, what I have to do is go into Component, Visualizer Studio, and I'll just add a basic game object property modifier and hook that up to the scale. So first thing is I need to point this at the manager, and then I need to point it at the frequency range that I want, and I'll go ahead and add this to the controller for bass. And just these are the main values that you'll be looking at to connect to the controller and then what the property value will be. So I'll go ahead and just set this to a relatively low value to ignore some of the noise that the controller might be getting. And I'll go ahead and make it 0.5 so that way it can react without the bass being cranked up all the way. And the minimum value will be 1 and it will go to a scale of 10. You can also select a large range of different properties from this drop down here. So that one is set up for base and I'll go ahead and create some particle spawners that will spawn whenever a mid frequency peaks. So I also have an included standard asset which is basically just a normal fireworks that comes with Unity standard assets. So I'll go ahead and drop one of those in here. Um, I'll go ahead and move it around a little bit. And from here I'll go ahead and add Visualizer Studio triggers, go ahead and add an emit particles trigger. And I don't care if it loses prefab. And also the main thing you need to do here is make sure you turn off emit and one shot so that way you can keep triggering over and over. So for this script I just put on here, make sure it points at Visualizer Manager and then I'll make it listen to the bass controller. 
And I'll just leave the default for the threshold amount. And this basically means whenever the difference between this frame and the previous frame and the audio source for that controller, it'll go ahead and activate this trigger. And just to make sure it can happen frequently enough, I'll set the reactivate delay to 0.1. So now whenever this trigger gets triggered, it'll go ahead and spawn some particles. So I'll just go ahead and clone this and move another one over there. And just for fun, I'll go ahead and hook up this plane to make it rotate based on the high frequency. So I'll go ahead here, Visualizer Studio, Modifiers, Game Object Property Modifier, go ahead and select the appropriate manager and controller. And I'll make it also ignore some of the noise that you might hear and not have to listen to the full controller value. But as far as rotation, I'll make it rotate from 0 radians a second, or degrees a second, all the way up to 180. And go ahead and select Y angular velocity here. So now what I have should be a completely visualized level with a few things hooked up to the music. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Just went ahead and jumped ahead of second and went ahead and removed all of the little side windows so that way we get a better view of this level that we just created. So here you have all the debugging output for the spectrum, for all the different data groups, and then for each controller. So you see here the plane is rotating based on the high controller. And you see the sphere here is pulsing based on this base controller and these particle effects are spawning whenever this mid-group peaks. So hopefully this gave everyone a pretty good idea of how to get started with Visualizer Studio and give you some great ideas to get started making some really cool stuff. As always, if you have any feedback, have any questions, you can go ahead and contact me at bizstudiounity at yahoo.com. Thank you and enjoy.